Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Very nice to see you, nice to be back here. Okay, today's shave is a little bit of a, an experiment for me. Well, not an experiment, a first. Uh, I've never tried some of these products before and they're a little bit different from what I usually use. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, see what we're using. Right, I was contacted by Richard Poole. Now, any of you that remember, uh, I used uh, a Razor Rock Hawk um, a few, a couple of months back, uh, Richard uh, contacted me, said, would you like to try the Razor Rock Hawk? Uh, it was the V1 he had, uh, here it is here, so uh, that's that. So if you remember that video, but then he contacted me again and said, I've just bought the Razor Rock Hawk V2, version two, so would you like to try that and compare them? I'm always up for that, I'm always happy to do that. Uh, it's good to try new razors. So here is the V2 here, single edge razor and here is the V1, here. So I've got them both. Uh, I'll give you a close-up of them and let you see how the heads differ and stuff like that. So take a look and uh, then we'll come back and we'll move on. So as you can see there, the difference in the razors, slight differences, but um, pretty much similar. Pretty much similar, yeah. Um, they're both aluminium, or as you guys in the States say it wrong, aluminum. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, so here they are here, so uh, I'm gonna pair these up and do one side of my face with the V1 and the other side with the V2. Uh, yeah, so very light razors, very, very light. Um, now, Richard said, uh, if I'm sending you those, how about you do a bird theme shave? Hence the reason, the egg. Um, <laughs> so, uh, the blade, I'm going to be putting in the razor, zzz, the razors, obviously, feather, bird theme. Uh, so here's, here's the pack here. Yeah, Richard very kindly sent these as well. So, I will show you how these work. These are call, called artist, artist club style blades. So it has a little uh, thing on the top here. You just slide that along. That's the blade primed and then you slide it that way and the blade comes out like so. So there's the blade there. Right, let me just get another one out. Right, so two blades. Uh, here they are here, yeah, single edge blades, right, so I will put them in these razors, the V1 first, and Richard has used the little plastic washers, so I'll use them as well, so the blade, let me show you, see if I can show you, blade sits on these little tabs, Oh, just dropped it. <laughs> there we go. Right, so the blade sits on these little tabs. Just like that. Put the base cap on. Put a little plastic washer on. Screw the handle back on. And there's the blade sitting in there, all nicely aligned on the posts. Yeah, can you see that? Yeah, right. Okay, I'll load up the Razor Rock Hawk V2, version 2. Yeah, slightly different, this one. This one has uh, little pins that you just set the blade in. And th those pins go into those little holes either side. So everything's really secure, tight tolerances. 
Ugh. <laughs> tight tolerances. So there's the, there's the blade there. Right, that's the V1 at this side, and here's the V2. And there's the blades. V2, V1. Right, let me just uh, put these blades back in here. Keep them safe. Put them over there. Right, Richard also sent this cream. Now it's a brushless cream, and uh, and almost five years of wet shaving this way, I don't think I've used a brushless cream, a brush, a brushless cream. Right, so I'm going to put some of this in here. I don't think I've used a brushless shave cream. So here, here's one here that he sent. Kiehl's Close Shaver Squadron, and this one, White Eagle, so there's the bird theme there. Uh, it's a hair razor formula. It's a hair razor formula. <laughs> um, directions. Smooth on a small amount of shave cream, no water needed, and glide your razor to the smoothest takeoff imaginable. Rinse thoroughly, pat dry. Fly into a new world of shaving pleasure. Okay, well, I hope they're right what they say. Uh, I, tr I did try and lather this, and it... It just didn't work. Right, so I'm going to use that, um, a brushless cream. So it comes in this little tube. I don't know how much to use. I've got quite a lot of growth here, so that much. Right, it says don't add water, so I'll just rub it on my hands. I think that's too much, maybe. It has menthol and camphor in it. Yeah, I think that might be too much, <coughs> but we shall see. So how are you? How's your shades? Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this because I love lathering up, but... Uh, Richard was kind enough to send this out, and I've never tried it. I brushed the screen. a and &E have one. Uh, there's a uh, sandalwood serum thing. Look at these whiskers. Yeah, I've got about four days growth here. That feels very dry. Right. See, if I add water to that, that makes it more slick. No, I'm just going to wet my hands and just uh, add some water to this like that. Yeah, I can feel the menthol in that now, because it looks very dry. I'm not sure the razor would glide over that. Maybe I should have wet my face first. So how many of you have used brushless creams and how, how do you get on with them and what do you recommend? I don't think I've ever used one. Right. So, there we go. I don't know how this is going to work. If it doesn't work on the first pass, <laughs> I might uh, go and get a, a cream or a soap and just lather up that way. Right, let's go with the, the V1, version one, on the right side. <clears throat> right, Razor Rock Hawk, version one, right side of my face. You can actually see that's mowing that down. <laughs> it's rinsing out the razor. Good enough. That feels a bit tuggy there, but we'll carry on. Yeah, look, it's, uh, it must be quite dry there because it's not rinsing out. It might be just because uh, this is such a heavy growth.
but it definitely works. It doesn't feel the slickest that I've ever used. Well, it does feel slick when you do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, clogging this razor up a little bit. I'm just uh, I'm just loosening the head of that handle just to let the water get underneath that blade. Right. Feels pretty good actually. Not much left there. <laughs> right, let's go with the Razor Rock Hawk version 2 on this side. Again, it's uh, clogging up a little bit. Unscrew the handle a little bit, loosen it, just to make sure the water gets underneath. There is a lot of whiskers here. They feel um, pretty similar. These two razors. They're pretty similar. The version 2 does feel a little bit smoother. I don't know whether it's because the, uh, because the head on it is slightly more curved or not. Yeah, the first um, couple of strokes, I thought this is really going to be quite tuggy, but it's maybe just because this beard is so long. Right, one little weeper there on that side. Right. Let me have a quick feel. Pretty good, actually. That's taking it down really well. Right, let me rinse. I'll come back for pass number two. I'll continue using this just to see how it is with, uh, without any stubble there. It's kind of cleared most of the heavy growth off, so I'll rinse this off. I'll come back for pass number two. Two. See you in a minute. Okay, that's it rinsed off. Actually, I can feel that's really slick with water. I maybe should have added a touch more water when I started, but yeah, it does feel uh, the residual slickness is great. Right, I'm just going to put a little spot on this now, this time. Just that much. <laughs> that looks a lot, but I've actually just dragged it across my hand, so. Right. Yeah, see the thing with this pass is because there really isn't much growth there I can't see where the cream is but just make sure I cover everything Yeah, I can feel when you can hear that There's still a bit of growth there Right Actually, it's very slick If, you're, if you were a daily shaver where you didn't have a lot of growth, this would be great. If you were in a hurry, just throw some of that on. You know, you don't have to make lather and stuff. Right, let's go with the Hawk version 1 on this side across the growth. Yeah, that's a... Uh, That's gliding much easier now, but there's not so much growth there. Very comfortable razor. Pardon me. <laughs> that was my breakfast. <laughs> no, I didn't have haggis. Do you think a Scotsman just eat haggis every day? 
<laughs> right. Yeah, easy to find the angle on these razors. There's actually a, a Hawk version 3 just came out uh, in stainless steel. I don't know if they do it in aluminum. Aluminum. <laughs> aluminum. <laughs> I don't know if they do it in uh, aluminum, aluminium as well, but uh, the version 3, similar to this, but it's uh, stainless steel. Right, let's go with the version 2. Across the growth. Or is it this way I usually go? I can't remember. Yeah, that feels better. Yeah, the only thing with these brushless creams is you can't see uh, where you're shaving. Well, you can, but like when you put a lather on, you can see the lather disappearing as you uh, drag the razor over it. Yeah, it's. Um, It's rinsing much easier. Now that there isn't as much stubble there. Oh, I'm only supposed to be doing this side. I told you not to do it. <laughs> right. I can't remember if I did this bit. That's the trouble with uh, the way I shave, I just shave, I've not got a set structure the way I shave, like I'll do this half first, this bit here, then this little with the moustache, and then I just go all over the place here and there and everywhere and every over dip, dip, dip there. Right, okay. <laughs> I'll, uh, that feels good actually, it feels really nice. Yeah, I can still feel there's against the growth or stubble there. Right, let me rinse, I'll come back for the third pass. Okay, yeah, nice and slick. Right, before I start the third pass, uh, Kyle, 2020 left a comment saying that uh, uh, the 14th of June, so Sunday is 15 years since his dad passed away, so could I um, honour him in this shave and uh, give him a mention, stuff like that. So uh, this one's for your dad, Kyle, uh, and anyone else that's lost anyone recently or in the past, uh, it's never easy losing anyone that you know or in your family, it's, uh, it's always a difficult time. So uh, a shout out to Kyle and uh, yeah, but uh, I dedicate the shave to your father's memory, your father's memory. Okay, Kyle, right. Let's go with the third pass with this uh, Kiehl's Close Shaver Squadron Ultimate Brushless Shave Cream. It's a hair razor formula. <laughs> right, I'm just going to put a tiny bit this time, just that much. Yeah, you can smell the menthol and camphor. It kind of smells medicinal, but it's okay. I'll tell you what, it's very slick. Now when this uh, third pass, just want to get good coverage here, just to... We're going against the grain, this is always the most... Uh, dangerous, shall we say? Risky. Risky, let's say risky. Risky's better. Right, version one, the Razor Rock Hawk. Let's make sure it's all clear. Yes, uh, nice and cleaned out. Okay, against the growth. Right, I'm just going to stick to this. I know I've done all this bit here, so I'm not going up here now. Yeah, it'd be interesting to use this uh, brushless 
shave cream with just like a day's growth. You know, as I said, if you're shaving every day, but you can see it there, look, it's a, there is kind of a lathery type substance there. I need to get another lockdown haircut. I've uh, ordered some clippers from uh, one of the stores here, so they're coming on, I think, Monday. So, uh, yeah, that should be. <laughs> this is the last time it took Mrs. Kebby about an hour and a half to, <coughs> you know, with the garden shears. <coughs> right, okay, third pass with the v version two of the Razor Rock Hawk. Yeah, these um, single-edge razors, really comfortable. Really comfy to use, easy to use. And the blades are great. It feels quite mild, actually. Yeah, there's not like a huge amount of blade feel. But these are very light razors, so if you prefer a heavier razor, you might not enjoy uh, these. But I like it. You still need a light touch. Yeah, still a, a light touch required. Right, I think that's all done. Right, let me have a quick rinse and feel about. V1 side right so I'm not going to use any of the uh, cream because there's still a good amount of slickness there I just thought of something there's a uh, there's not going to be any face wash there's not going to be any face wash <laughs> you know I usually leave the leftover lather and I have a little face wash with it. Oh no, there's not going to be any of that. Right. Just a touch out. Tiny little bit there. Yep, that's got it. Excellent. That's great. Right. Quick rinse and uh, cold water rinse then onto the post shave. It was really nice, really quite close, no irritation. It can still feel, it still feels smooth, stuff like that. Right, post shave. Uh, Richard also sent me very kindly a brand new EDT. I never heard of it before. I looked it up on Fragrantica, uh, Fragrantica or whatever it's called, uh, uh, and it, here it's here. Wings for men. It's quite a cheap one, but it said it smells like. Uh, fresh laundry and I had one spray of it uh, when I opened the box and it, it smells really nice actually really really nice let me see this bottle look at that that's worth the price alone very very nice yeah the bottle's blue can you see that yeah looks really good nice to hold a nice sprayer on it right so what I'm going to do is I'll just wet my hands Right into my hands like this and then just rub it together and use it like that as an aftershave. Wow, nice. Nice little sting. Yeah, it's got a, like a citrusy opening. 
and then dries down into a, it smells like yeah like kind of like uh, fresh laundry you know when it just comes when it's hanging outside you have that sort of fabric softener clean fresh it's very nice actually very nice and that's the obviously the bird cream wings oops let's pick that up Put lead behind there ah the camera's fallen over. Oh, Kevin, you're wrecking the joint. Right, let me just put that back like that. There you go. Is that okay? Everybody okay now? That was like a Ken Surf's blooper, wasn't it? <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, so that's the, uh, that's the bird theme. Wings. I like it. Yeah, it does have a nice scent. And to finish it off, Richard also sent this, uh, what do you think it's going to be? What kind of brand for the balm? Had to be, didn't it? Dove. <laughs> Dove Men Care Post Shave Balm uh, Revitalize Plus. So there it is there. Uh, I'll give some guys like to see the ingredients. Where are the ingredients? Well, they'll be under here. There we go. There's the ingredients. You can pause that there. I'm going to focus. Maybe knock the camera in there next week. <laughs> right. Right, just that one. Yeah. Not much of a scent on this. Really. It feels nice. Dries in quick. No, no scent. I'm not getting any scent from it. There we go, and that's the bird theme. Right, let me just move this wire. <laughs> that's what happened the last time when it fell over. Right, I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> that's the uh, the bird theme shave. Right, I'm going to have to do my crow um, uh, crow noise impersonation. That's the bird theme shave. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let me show you what we've used. Uh, all this stuff, thanks to Richard Poole. So thank you, Richard. Right, sorry, I just had to pause that there because my neighbor was coming in on his motorbike and it's a, it's a big old bike and it's uh, really loud. You wouldn't be able to hear what I was saying, so I paused it. Right, let me show you what we've used in today's bird theme shave. Uh, Razor Rock Hawk razors, version one and version two. Uh, very, very good, both very good single edge razors. Uh, I think I prefer the V2. It's just a little step up, I, I don't know, I, might be about this curved head and I prefer the handle on this one. It um, feels better in my hand. But similar razors, they shave pretty similar. Um, quite mild, nice and light if you like a light razor. Uh, and they're good value for money as well. I'll put links for everything in the description. You can go and check them out. So that's that. Um, carrying on the bird theme shave. Kiehl's Close Shavers Squadron uh, White Eagle Ultimate Brushless Shave Cream. Um, first time I've used this, probably not good if you have a very heavy growth. Um, I maybe should have used some water, but if you're in a hurry, excellent stuff, really slick. Uh, as you know, I like lathering up on my face with a brush, but this was good. I enjoyed it. It was something different. Nice to try, to say that I've tried it. Yeah, it's uh, good stuff. There's lots of brushless creams out there, uh, but uh, obviously this one with a bird theme, White Eagle. So three passes, pickups. Feels great. Um, Post shave was Wings EDT, carrying on the bird theme. Wings for men. Yeah, a nice, clean, citrusy, fresh, clean linen type scent. It opens up kind of citrusy, then it's clean linen. I can still smell it. It smells good. It smells really nice. Um, yeah, nice bottle as well. I like that. I like that bottle. Um, oh, the blades that we put in the two razors, obviously on the bird theme. Feather professional blades. Uh, so that was the EDT and finished it off with Dove Men Plus Care Poche Balm Revitalize. And that's it. Here we go. Nice shave, nice and comfortable. Very, very good. Okay, that's all from me for today. Thank you very much for the comments. Keep them coming. Uh, there's been a lot of <laughs> videos I've been putting out in the last sort of week or two, but I um, just want to show you guys and say thanks. 
for everyone that subscribes, leaves a comment. Um, people sending me stuff is just really, really generous. I, I can't thank you all enough. Um, so I've got a lot of new stuff to show you guys. Uh, I've got a new brush that's uh, here. Obviously, you might have seen it in the last video, but there's also another new one that's um, coming. Uh, I've got the 10,000 giveaway, uh, 10,000 subscriber giveaway video. I need to do that. Everything's here for it, the prizes, so that's all good. Um, I've got a question that I might, I might ask. I don't know. I don't know. Um, just for a bit of fun, uh, just to make it a bit interesting, but I shall see. I'll have a think about it. Right, okay, that's all for me for the day. Have a fantastic weekend. Stay safe, look after loved ones um, if you can, if you are looking after loved ones. Uh, but stay safe and I will see you in the next video and enjoy your shaves. That's the most important part. Enjoy your shaves. Take your time, relax. It's you time. And just enjoy. Right, I'll see you soon. Take care.